By the end of this video, you will be able to take your audio from sounding like this, ladies and gentlemen, join us for an evening of enchant, to adding an old time vintage radio effect so that your audio sounds like this. Ladies and gentlemen, join us for an evening of enchanting melodies and toe tapping rhythms. So let's get started in adding this vintage radio effect to any audio that you're working on in Audacity. This will work with any dialogue that you have or any music that you have as well. Either one, you can make it sound like an old time radio. So the first thing you're going to want to do is import your audio into Audacity. You'll need to go up to file and then import audio and then this will pull up the files on your computer and you can select the file and then press open. Once you have your audio loaded into Audacity, you're going to start adding some effects to the audio so it sounds like a vintage radio. First, you're going to select the audio and if you want to select an entire track, you can click on this gray area right here on the left hand side. So when you click that, that would select the entire audio or you can click on the selection tool and then left click and then drag to select the audio portion that you would like to add the effect to. I'm going to apply the effect on the entire track, so I'm going to click on this gray area. Then I'm going to go up to Effect, and then I'm going to go down to EQ and Filters, and we'll start with the Filter Curve EQ. There are going to be several settings that we apply to this, and each one is going to make it sound a little more like that vintage radio. So when I'm in the Filter Curve EQ, I can go up to Presets and Settings, and usually you'll see it on default. It'll look like that. So when you go up to Presets and Settings, I'm going to look for an option here for AM radio. And when I click on that, it's going to make it sound a bit like those old time radios. So you can preview the sound by going to here. Ladies and gentlemen, join us for an evening of enchanting melodies. So you can see it sounds a little more like what we're going for. If you want to make it sound a little bit more like a radio, then you can drag these options here. And if you drag these this way, it'll sound a little more muffled. So if I preview that, Ladies and gentlemen, join us for an evening of enchanting melodies and toe tapping. You see it sounds a little more muffled, and that might be the effect you're going for. And then you can play with each of these settings till you make it sound exactly how you want it. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on apply. And so that applied that effect to my audio. And I'm going to add a little more to this so that it makes it more, sound more like a radio. What we're going to do is generate some noise. And to do this, we'll go up to generate, and then we'll click on noise. Make sure that you have no audio selected. So I need to click out of that. So that nothing is selected so that it will create a new track. If you have something selected, it will create the noise in the track. So generate noise. And I'm going to, they have different noise types here. So you could do white, pink, or brownian. Pink is the one that sounds the most like that vintage radio effect. And once you're happy with that, you go ahead and click generate. And then you can see that it generated that noise. I'm going to unmute that here. So that noise has been generated and it looks pretty loud to me compared to my audio. So what I need to do is lower the volume of that noise. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the track in the gray area there, go on to effect. And then this time I'd like to go to amplify. So I'm going to lower the volume of this. So I'm going to drag this to a negative number. So you want to make sure it's a negative number. Let's try something like maybe negative 24. You can play with these settings and see if you might need to do more or less, depending on how loud your audio is. So I'm going to click on apply. So that looks a lot better. Now let's go ahead and listen to this with the two effects that we have, the AM radio effect and now the generate noise effect. Ladies and gentlemen, join us for an evening of enchanting melodies and toe tapping rhythm. So that's starting to come along. Uh, now there are two more effects that I'd like to add to this and it's going to sound perfect. So I'm going to go up to the first track and click the audio for that. Once that is selected, I'm going to go up to effect and then we're going to go to EQ and filters. We're going to do the high pass filter. And it should be set to this, but make sure that you have this at a thousand or above. And then we got the roll off a dB per octave, and that's going to be 12. And then we're going to go ahead and click apply. And then we're going to do one more. So we're going to have that selected again and go up to effect and then EQ and filters. And this time we're going to go to the low pass filter. And we've got that frequency again. And we'll stick with a thousand hertz, roll off dB per octave at six dBs for this one. And we're going to click on apply. And now let's go ahead and take a listen. It looks like we might need to amplify that a bit, but let's go ahead and take a listen. Ladies and gentlemen, join us for an evening of enchanting melodies and toe tapping rhythm. That is sounding amazing. So let's go ahead and amplify that a little bit so that the static is a little less and this is a little and that the spoken word is a little more. So we're going to go click on that track, go up to effect and let's go ahead and amplify this and it will give us a nice setting here. So whatever your number comes up as is going to be the best setting for this so that it doesn't have any distortions. So I'm going to click on apply. And now that's looking really nice. So let's go ahead and listen to that. I'm going to put my headphones on for this. 
Ladies and gentlemen, join us for an evening of enchanting melodies and toe-tapping rhythms. So you can see we were able to create that warm, nostalgic radio effect. And to repeat, this will work with any uh, audio that you're working on. Now what you need to do is go ahead and export this. So I'm going to go ahead and file and then export the audio. And then I can export this as an MP3 file or a WAV file. And then when everything's good, I can click on export. And it will create the audio file that now you can listen to it with the, all the effects that you added. If you need to undo anything at any point, you can go up to edit and then undo. So that way you can keep track of which effect that you added one at a time. So you now know how to add a vintage radio effect to the audio that you're working on in Audacity. If you made it this far into the video, you most likely are interested in how to remove echo from any audio that you're working on in Audacity. I made a complete tutorial that covers how to do this in detail. I'll put a link to that video here.